is a cause stronger than Doma? And if a cause is not stronger than Doma, how is Doma stronger than him? The ranking of the upper moon is pretty constant. Kokoshiba is always the strongest, Doma is the second strongest, Akaz is the third strongest, and so on. Welcome guys back to another video. My name is TK. Let's get into some anime. There is a pretty major gap between each of them. For example, if Kokoshiba is to fight Doma, it will be an easy win for him. Just like how if Doma is to fight Akaza, it will be an easy win for him as well. But let me say one thing and never forget this. Out of all the demons our protagonists have ever fought, Akaza is the only one who died on his own terms. Neither Kokoshibo, nor Doma, nor even Muzan had that treatment at any time. Now, back to the question. What makes Doma stronger than Akaza? In my other video on Doma, the upper moon demon Muzan hated, I talked about how Muzan didn't really expect Doma to get this strong, but he did. And the primary reason he became this strong is thanks all to that nutritious meat he was consuming. Thanks to the Eternal Paradise cult, Doma had an insane supply of young women. Plus, he had no qualms about eating them because in his mind, he was just setting them free from their suffering. Then there is Akaza. Honestly, I have zero doubt that Akaza could have surpassed Doma. I am not sure if he could have surpassed Kokushibo though, but he would have at least become on par with Kokushibo. The difference between Akaza and Doma is that he actively sought strength, while Doma's strength was the result of him doing what he liked. Another thing to notice here is the difference in their personalities. Doma could have easily killed Shinobu, Kanao, and Inosuke, but he played around with them. He couldn't take things seriously, and that in turn became his downfall. While Akaza is like Goku, he loves himself a good challenge and he has strong feelings from his previous life. Think about it, he may have forgotten but his heart certainly hasn't forgotten. That is why he is not the kind of demon who eats women. That is why he hates Doma with every fiber of his being. It's like this, Doma has better stats and he has stronger abilities, but Akaza is much more fluent in what he does. Heck, at the end of his fight with Tanjiro and Giyu, as he remembers his previous memories, he also achieved the impossible feat of not dying even after getting his head cut off by the Nichiren sword. He simply grew another one. The only other demon who has ever shown to do this is Muzan himself. The thing about demons is that they can't grow stronger the same way the demon slayers can. If this was the case, it would have been impossible for the pillars to defeat any of the upper moon, or even lower moons for that matter, because they have been around for way longer than them. In some cases, they have been around for centuries. But the demon slayers on the other hand are usually just teenagers. Even the older pillars are just in their early 20s. Michikatsu may have gotten stronger than how strong he is as Kokushibo, even if he didn't accept Muzan's offer. Though there's also this idea that once you reach your peak, you can't really get any more stronger than that. If Rengoku had survived his fight against Akaza, he would have unlocked the Demon Slayer mark and then the Seed Through Vision, but his basic abilities wouldn't have improved much. This was also Akaza's argument by the way, he was asking Rengoku to join the dark side as that is the only way for him to reach new heights. Unlike Demon Slayers, the demons have two more ways of becoming stronger. They can either consume more of Muzan's blood, but it really depends if they will survive or not, and they can just go on consuming more people. Akaza definitely ate people, but he didn't eat women who have high nutrition value. Doma ate women, he ate a stupid number of women, and that's how he surpassed Akaza. But this does make you wonder though, did Doma really surpass Akaza? Yes, he may have done that in terms of stats and everything, it's also argued that Doma was better at him in martial arts. You see, while Kaza uses hand-to-hand -hand combat, Domi uses a martial art called Tessenjutsu. It's the martial arts of the Japanese war fan, and as you have seen in the manga, he uses the fan to fight. The reason it is argued that he is better at martial arts is also because of his superior ranking, but I don't agree with this. Akaza was a proficient master of the Soryu style. He was able to kill 67 adults with his bare fist even before he became a demon. They used swords and everything, while all he needed was his fists to destroy their bodies beyond recognition. It was a slaughter. Of course when he became a demon, everything about his prowess was significantly enhanced. He was able to move at speeds faster than the eye can see. Every single one of his punches and kicks were lethal blows. His body was used as the weapon. It's simply wrong to suggest that Kaza is not better at martial arts. Next, how about we talk about their blood demon art? Akaza's blood demon art complements his hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's called Destructive Death, 
and it's all about creating shockwaves alongside his Soryu fighting style. He can generate the shockwaves at will, and can also amplify or subdue their destructive capabilities. As for Doma, his blood demon art is Cryokinesis. It's all about creating and manipulating ice at will. Extremely handy abilities considering how once the ice gets to your lungs, it's become impossible to continue using the breathing techniques as you normally would. Honestly, Kokushibo may be stronger than Doma, but it would have been harder for the Pillars to win against Doma if he weren't for Shinobu poisoning the living daylights out of him. Doma is kind of like the Joker character. Muzan respects Kokushibo, and Akaza is his favorite, but he just doesn't like Doma, a very goofy, unserious upper rank demon, if you will. Now, it was never going to happen, but if the one who got poisoned was Akaza instead of Doma, he would have suffered the same fate. Same goes for Kokushibo. It was a masterfully executed plan. This is why we don't see the true extent of Doma's abilities. He is taken from a direction he wasn't expecting. But as we talked about before, Akaza was able to regrow his head. And during the climax of his fight against Giyu and Tanjiro, he was also able to free himself from Muzan's will. It was thanks to his dear wife, Kyuki, appearing before him, but it did happen. Akaza turned back into a human and died while apologizing to her. If he hadn't changed his mind, the Demon Slayers would have lost. Akaza's regeneration was getting out of hand. Tanjiro may have succeeded in killing him using the sun breathing, but they would have lost too much time. In the end, it was very simple, wasn't it? Akaza had a standard even as a demon, and when he died, he died on his own terms. There is a lot of speculation on how Akaza was on the verge of evolution, so who knows? He may very well have surpassed Doma and caught up to Kokushibo, but then again, if that's what he truly wanted in his heart and soul, he would have started eating women like Doma. But with the way things happened, Doma was stronger. I'm not sure if Tanjiro and Gi would have survived against Doma. Maybe they would have because he is too laid back and I'm not also sure about how Akaza would have acted if he fought Shinobu and Kanal. I don't know, have we ever seen him hurt a lady though? What do you guys think of this? Maybe we can do a later would have scenario where Doma and Akaza fight each other for real. But for now, let me know what you guys think of these two demons. As always, I'm looking forward to reading your thoughts. Let us continue the discussion in the comment section down below. My name is TK. Loving us some anime.